leading cars coming through Defoni keeping a little bit of distance he's going to be catching back up uh, through those very fast corners the uh, Schloss Gold downhill then corners five and six where he's very very fast he'll be putting the pressure back on car number seven in the lead with Defoni right behind Max Defoni Defoni of course putting in some uh, brilliant uh, performances in some of the uh, last races he's been with that team a few years now he was third in last year's Euro Cup uh, FR2 series and second in the NEC car slowing and stopped on the side there not sure whether that was a car slowing down to let them pass Defoni on the outside now attacking, no, going through past car number 5, that's not Defoni car number 15, beg your pardon the uh, battle a bit further back Mattis in car number 15 out of the running Cordiel in car 34 being lapped car 7 now leading as they go through the downhill section into slosh gold Max Stefani keeping the pressure on he went on the attack a couple of times not quite getting through Max Fertrell defending his position Fertrell putting in some good lap times one and a half minutes left to run with Fertrell keeping the lead from Max Defoni position with Verhagen going through passing Yu Yang that's further back in the pack uh, there Yu Yang Sun Yu Yang is in uh, 20th position Verhagen going up into 19th as we're back with the leaders Car number seven, Max Fertrell in the leading position, the rookie. Fertrell under a lot of pressure from Defoni coming back through again. This is the section, the downhill to the Schloss Gold. Defoni putting on the pressure, going on the outside. He's got just one lap to go will Defoni go on the attack in the last lap on Max Fertrell Fertrell who took his number one position away just after the start Defoni wanting to get back into that number one position but will he get it in the last lap that's the question we're asking ourselves as further back in the pack a lot of action happening now as well with this uh, side by side racing continuing beautiful racing further back in the pack it looks like Lewis leads leads back in the middle of the pack 17th position with Neubauer Neubauer in car number six putting the pressure on leads as they go through for the final lap this is where we're going to see perhaps the attack from Defoni as they come around through turn one into turn two along that very fast straight through the Remus that's the hardest breaking point on the circuit now a very fast downhill section 
Fertrell digging a gap on De Forney. De Forney will be catching up again through those next sections. Now an, an attack from Fenestras on the outside of De Forney. That's an eye-opener. Fenestras now going on the inside of De Forney. Fenestras now going for second position. De Forney was putting on the pressure for net first. Now Fenestras has gone through. Fenestras now getting that position taken away from him. No, Fenestras will hang on to it. Fenestras gone through into second position in the last lap ahead of Max De Forney. What an amazing uh, passing maneuver from Fenestras in that very last section of this lap. It's Max Feltrell now coming through to take the win. Fenestras sneaking through into second position. De Forney starting from first position on the grid and now back in third. Fenestras a very tricky second position as one car off on the side. The green flag as they come through past the start finish line. It's going to be Max Fertrell ahead of Fenestras and De Forney in third position. What an amazing last lap of this race with De Forney getting his uh, position taken away. We thought he was going to go through into first. And there he had his second position taken away by Fenestras. That was a surprise. A very, very surprising end to the race. As we have a glimpse of Will Palmer now back in 12th position with Corneve ahead of him. Palmer not putting in a good race at all. Will Palmer, the uh, former championship leader, right up to the last uh, race weekend at the Nürburgring, finishing this race in uh, 12th position. That's going to make it a little bit difficult for him to get back up to the top of the table, as he'd been hoping for. Fertrell, the rookie, going through and taking a brilliant win here in uh, the Red Bull ring. Max Fertrell from the Renault Sport Academy one of three drivers, of course, from Renault Sport Academy racing.